tonight, the driver of a truck involved in a crash that killed seven motorcycle riders in New Hampshire is now facing charges. An East Providence man was among the victims. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with new details on the suspect. Steve. Oh, well, Caroline, this investigation is still evolving. We've confirmed today the driver was set to be arraigned in Connecticut on Wednesday for an unrelated operating under the influence of alcohol charge. Vladimir Zakovsky enters a Massachusetts courtroom, his legs shackled together, at first standing behind his attorney. The Springfield resident is headed to a New Hampshire courtroom to face seven counts of negligent homicide there. Friday, New Hampshire State Police say a truck pulling a flatbed trailer on Route 2 collided with a group of motorcyclists, killing seven. One of them, Daniel Pereira of Riverside, Rhode Island. His goodness, his kindness, his gentleness, you know, always shown through in what he did. Husband and wife Edward and Joanne Kaur of Lakeville, Massachusetts, also died. The riders were headed to a charity event when the crash happened. Authorities say Zakowski was the driver of the truck. Eyewitness News obtained his driving record from the Mass RMV. It lists a violation for operating under the influence in 2013, at fault for accidents in 2012 and in 2014. Connecticut court records show Zakowski was charged with operating under the influence on May 11th. Zakowski was reached by phone by WMUR in New Hampshire before his arrest and said it was tragic. He's shocked and is cooperating with police. Three other motorcyclists were injured in that crash. Zakowski waived extradition, which means New Hampshire authorities immediately took custody of him as he left the Massachusetts court. His Massachusetts attorney said in court, authorities are not allowed to interrogate his client until he gets a new defense attorney in New Hampshire. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.